Thank you very much for coming to the Cervantes tonight. My name is Daniel Labella. First of all, I want to start off by thanking a couple of friends, including Mike from um, the Horror Meetup Group here in New York. He's shown and brought up quite a few people. So, great job, Mike. Um, this is a uh, fourth film in the series of uh, eight films. And uh, basically, the theme is horror but horror in various uh, varieties. There are internal horror, external horror, ha, taboo breaking films. Uh, tonight, the film is Day of the Beast. And uh, for those who don't know, it's directed by Alex de la Iglesia. Uh, directed in 1995. Uh, that basically following on the footsteps of the film, Acción Mutante, which was a kind of a very strange sci-fi film. Basically, the kind of horror we're seeing tonight is supernatural horror, is the but also a mix with a little bit of a black comedy. Uh, Alex Iglesia was uh, clearly influenced by Buñuel in his uh, uh, satirical approach to the way we are handling the issue of Armageddon uh, and the old the whole, and scatological issues of the end of time. So uh, basically, the, you know, in a nutshell, the film is about a priest who realizes uh, after a series of cabalistic studies that the world's going to end on Christmas Day. And he decides now that he's going to find who this, uh, the Antichrist. But then, after much examination, he, think, he, he comes to the conclusion that he's got to become evil as bad as the Antichrist in order to convince the powers that be, the, the evil sources, that, uh, to give him the information. So he enlists the help of a uh, death metal musician, uh, and along with a uh, evangelical host, and um, the result is a farcical uh, interpretation of the whole Omen series, thrown in with a little Luis Buñuel and a little bit of uh, uh, the old Spanish terror. So, uh, without any further ado, I, sh I present you the Day of the Beast. Thank you very much. Good evening. Hi, my name is Daniel Abella, and I'm from the Philip K. Dick Film Festival. Welcome to uh, week five of the Cervantes uh, uh, cycle of horror films. Um, the film that we're showing tonight is called The Nameless, it's uh, Los Sin Nombre. And basically it's uh, directed by uh, James or Jaime Balagueró. And he's actually the director of, for those who don't know, of uh, Darkness. It's an American uh, Hollywood production. Uh, every week we're showing a different aspect of horror. Last week we had uh, the Day of the Beast, and this week is the Nameless. The focus of the horror of this week is basically the idea of loss, the idea of probably one of the worst things a woman can experience is the loss of her daughter, son or daughter. And basically the story is of a young woman who's been left, who, whose husband left her a long time ago, and uh, one day uh, whose daughter was supposedly mutilated horrible uh, accident. One day she receives a phone call from a mysterious uh, girl claiming this is her daughter. So this sets into motion a series of investigations and she enlists the help of a journalist uh, as well as another person to try to figure out who is this girl uh, behind this mysterious phone call. Uh, they, and while this is going on, there is this mysterious organization called the Nameless that is behind these un unusual occurrences. Uh, Balagueró really uh, wanted to push forward the, uh, an internal state of dread that's associated with the loss of someone. I think he's really achieved this pretty well. So uh, without any further ado, I present you the Nameless. Thank you and enjoy. 